It's 4 p.m. here in Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. Welcome to ZT News Blitz, our top stories. Patients turned away as Zim doctor strike continues. Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission wants judiciary realigned. Bloody climate change protest, stunt misfires. And in sport, warrior striker Knowledge Musona bounces back. Patients are being turned away from Zimbabwe's major hospitals without treatment as senior doctors went on strike on Thursday. The doctors are pressing for higher salaries and improved working conditions alongside their juniors, who have also been away from duty since early September. Affected hospitals include Harare Central and Parirenyatwa, both in the capital Harare, and United Bulawayo Hospitals, which is in Zimbabwe's second largest city. The doctors' representatives refused to speak on camera while the Health and Child Care Ministry is expected to issue a statement later today. Zimbabwe is expected is projected to receive rainfall later than expected with the first showers likely in mid-October and heavy rains in November. The uncharacteristic cold weather in various parts of the country is also expected to continue. The anticipated rainfall pattern is likely to favor summer cropping. Let's hear more from Zimbabwe's Met Department. Uh, ITC sets in from uh the later part of November into December. So if we are getting a bit of that moisture right now, right now it shouldn't be even, people shouldn't be even talking about that right now because we, we expect it towards December. That's when we get a significant rains across the country. So there's not a shift in any season. It's just season variabilities. And this season is being predicted to be far better than what transpired in the last season. The Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission wants the country's judiciary aligned towards fighting graft. The commission's chairperson, Justice Lois Matandamoyo, spoke to ZTN earlier today. As you can see right now, we've got anti-corruption court, courts, but only at the magistrate level. Once you start going to the superior courts, corruption matters are not handled with priority. So we also need that to change. We need corruption matters to be handled fast. A British Extinction Rebellion stunt backfired when protesters used a fire engine to spray 400 gallons of fake blood at the Treasury, but ended up covering themselves after the hose broke. They used a decommissioned fire engine in an attempt to spray a message. Around 30 police officers later arrived on the scene and four people were arrested for criminal damage. Now in sport, Belgian giants Andalay have turned to Zimbabwe international Knowledge Musona ahead of their league match against Cairo on Friday. The Warriors skipper trained with the first team after, the, after he impressed for the under-21s with a well-taken goal following a long layoff. Musona's situation has been cause for concern among some fans and Warriors teammates. Warriors star Kama Biliat told ZTN Sport recently that he longs to play alongside Musona again. Zimbabwe football legend Madinda Ndlovu is likely to be discharged from a Botswana hospital tomorrow. Madinda, who has since been replaced as Khabaron United coach, has been in hospital for the past weeks after collapsing while conducting training. Khabaron United chairman Voitumelo was quoted saying the legend is out of the woods and can now speak. Ireland gave themselves a chance for a quarter-final place after they dismissed Russia 35-0 in Kobe. It was a match in which Rob Carney, Peter O'Mahony and Rhys Ruddock scored first half tries before Andrew Conway got the much-needed bonus points later in the game. As things stand, a five-point win over Samoa in nine days' time will take Ireland through to the quarter-finals where they are expected to meet their match. That's all we had on ZTN News Blitz. Thank you for watching.